Hello, um, my name's Suzanne. I am in a group called Parents Watch Education Glasgow. So we're looking at what's going on in schools and do a bit of work with Sam Cowie as well. Sometimes we work together. And sorry, I was distracted by these lot over there. Um, so what the latest really on education in schools is but they are, you know, groups like LGBTS and Thai are going into um, teacher training and they're training, well, they, they're really radicalizing teachers. So they, all the teachers in training have got those, the, the LGBT groups going in and training them and they're training existing teachers as well. And then those teachers, which a lot of them are quite young and there's very few, that are older or confident enough to be critical or to you know put their head above the parapet and, and challenge what's going on. So those teachers are then going into schools from nursery because we've got trans rights activists in the um, early learning training in colleges as well. They're going into all the schools from nurseries and then bringing all the gender ideology in. So. You know, teaching children they can change gender and stuff like that, which is really dangerous because, you know, when kids are young, they you can get them to believe anything. You know, so they're getting to believe, getting them to believe they can change sex, which is really wrong. Or you know, to that their friend has changed from a boy to a girl, which happened in a local nursery from us. There was a four-year-old that was allowed to socially transition from a boy to a girl. That, that child's now in primary. And it's, schools are allowing children to socially transition and sometimes without letting the parents know, they're allowing change of pronouns and they're then putting them on the pathway to possible medical treatment and surgery. And I mean, we, we've met kids who just, they think that you can change sex, you know, like teenagers who just think, yes, you can change sex. And it, it is, yeah, it's really dangerous what's going on because there's going to be more kids like that. And you look at all those kids over there and they just make me feel really sad because they just look lost, really. And they're being fed loads of lies. Like, what, what is society going to be like if it continues? So, please, if you're a teacher, we're on uh, Twitter uh, under Edu Glasgow, E D U Glasgow, um, Parents Watch Education Glasgow. I'm Suzanne Mallion on Twitter. So, just message me if you've got any information because I work with lots of teachers and people in different professions that are sort of giving information over to us and we're going and meeting with politicians and talking to them about what's going on so give me your stories or parent stories you know it's really important we get these stories the politicians and they know what's going on and we can challenge it and if you've got kids at school try and form groups you know there's Scottish Union for Education and women's rights networks there's lots of women's um, organizations out there that can help with this so yes carry on with the fight thank you